Thank you for keeping us safe this past week. Thank you for the opportunity to praise you. We are excited to learn about how David defeated Goliath. Bless us with your story and your words. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This week's scripture reading is 1 Samuel chapter 17 verses 32 to 37. Let's read it together. David said to Saul, Let no one lose heart on account of this Philistine. Your servant will go and fight him. Saul replied, You are not able to go out against this Philistine and fight him. You are only a young man, and he has been a warrior from his youth. 
But David said to Saul, Your servant has been keeping his father's sheep. When a lion or a bear came and carried off a sheep from the flock, I went after it, struck it, and rescued the sheep from its mouth. When it turned on me, I seized it by its hair, struck it, and killed it. Your servant has killed both the lion and the bear. This uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them because he has defied the armies of the living God. The Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hand of this Philistine. Saul said to David, Go, and the Lord be with you. David was chosen as the next king of Israel by God, who worked through Samuel. But David was young and stayed at his father Jesse's house. At this time, a war broke out between the Israelites and the Philistines. The Philistines gathered for war at Soko in Judah. Saul and the Israelites also gathered in the Valley of Elah to fight against the Philistines. Look! We are facing against the Philistines directly on this hillside. Until when are we going to stay like this? That's right. I'm so worried that I cannot even eat. I heard the Philistines have a huge champion in their army. Have you heard about him? Oh, the giant champion? I heard his name was Goliath. Oh my, do you think we can win against him? How can we defeat someone like Goliath? Goliath, who was from Gath, came out of the Philistine camp and declared war on the Israelites. He was a giant over three meters tall. He had a bronze helmet and wore armor that weighed 57 kilograms. He carried a huge spear's shaft. He shouted at the Israelites. Why did you come out and line up for battle? Am I not a Philistine, and are you not the servants of Saul? Choose one man to come to me. If he can win against me, we will become your servants. If I win against him, you guys must become our servants. Now, send someone to fight against me. Oh no, we are in big trouble. We will all die fighting against someone like Goliath. King Saul, what should we do? Are we going to die? Are we going to become servants to the Philistines? Saul and the Israelites were scared after hearing Goliath's words. During this time, David was very young and could not go to war. Instead, Jesse's oldest three sons, Eliab, Abinadab, and Shammah, went to war with Saul. Goliath came out to stand against the Israelites every morning for 40 days. David, come here. Yes, father. Did you call me? Take this grain and bread to your brothers who are at war. Yes, father. Also, take these cheeses and give them to your brother's commander. See how they are doing. Yes, father. I will check up on them. Saul, your brothers, and the Israelites are at war in the Valley of Elah. Be careful. Yes, don't worry. I will come back safely. David left his sheep under the care of another shepherd and left early in the morning for the camp. When David arrived, the Israelites and the Philistines were facing each other ready to fight. David left the food with the supply keeper and ran to check how his brothers were doing. Eliab, are you okay? David, what are you doing here? Father sent me to check up on you guys. We're safe for now. As David was talking with his brothers, the giant Goliath came out to shout at the Israelites. You foolish Israelites, come out to fight me. Are you scared? 
Let's run away. We cannot defeat Goliath. Have you ever seen a giant like Goliath before? He keeps mocking the Israelites, but no one is strong enough to fight him. King Saul said he will reward whoever defeats Goliath with a big reward. He even said he will allow that man to marry his daughter. That's a big reward, but who can defeat Goliath? The man will be killed by Goliath before he is rewarded. What will be done for the man who kills this Philistine and removes this disgrace from Israel? Who is this Philistine to defy the armies of our living God? King Saul said he will give a big reward to the man who defeats Goliath. The man will become his son-in-law, but everyone is too scared. David, why have you come down here? And who did you leave those sheep with? I know you came only to watch the battle. You do not know how dangerous this battle is. Why are you interested in the reward? Why are you so arrogant? Eliab, what have I done? Can't I even speak? David continued to ask others around him the same question. All the Israelites answered the same way. Someone heard David asking about Goliath, and someone reported this to King Saul. King Saul, Jesse's youngest son, David, keeps asking the soldiers about Goliath. What is he asking? He continues to ask about why Goliath mocks our army, what reward the king has promised, and why no one can fight against Goliath. Oh, really? Bring David to me. Yes, sir. King Saul summoned David. I heard you were curious about Goliath and this war. Yes, that is correct. What do you think about the situation? King Saul, you have no reason to fear Goliath. I will defeat him for you. What? No, you can't. Someone young like you cannot defeat Goliath. You are just a little boy, and Goliath is a general who has grown up in the army. King Saul, when I tend my father's sheep, I fight off the bears and the lions that try to steal the baby sheep. When they try to attack me, I strike them and kill them. I have killed a lion and a bear, and this Philistine will be the same because he insults the armies of the living God. I will defeat Goliath. God has rescued me from a bear and a lion. He will do the same for me against that Philistine. You are very brave. Okay, go. May the Lord be with you. Saul dressed David in his own tunic. He put a coat of armor on him and a bronze helmet on his head. He was also given a sword, but everything was too big for David. King Saul, the armor is too big for me, and the sword is too big. I cannot move like this. I will just go with what I need. David took his staff in his hand, chose five smooth stones from the stream, and put them in the pouch of his shepherd's bag. With his sling in hand, David approached the Philistine. Let's see. The person coming towards me is an Israelite, right? Someone finally gathered the courage to fight against me from that group of scared Israelites, huh? Ha 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 ha! We will finally be able to finish this war. But is that not a young boy? Goliath looked at David and saw that he was only a little boy glowing with health and good looks. Goliath despised him. You child! Am I a dog that you come at me with sticks? <laughs> How useless are your soldiers that you send me a little boy? You Israelites are really pathetic. <laughs> you child! I guess you will be killed by me. I can't go easy on you. Just because you're young, this is war. I will not pity you just because you're young. 
Come, let's fight. You come against me with a sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of God. The Lord will deliver you into my hands and I will defeat you today. The people here today will know that a sword is not needed when they are being saved by the Lord. This is the Lord's battle. He will give all of you into our hands. David and Goliath headed toward each other to attack. As David ran towards Goliath, he took out a stone from his pocket. He slung it and struck Goliath on the forehead. The stone sank into his forehead and Goliath fell face down on the ground. David defeated Goliath with a sling and a stone. Goliath died and the Philistines were shocked. Did that little boy just defeat Goliath? Goliath just fell face down on the ground, right? He was killed with the sling and the stone, right? My goodness, this just doesn't make any sense. Our General Goliath was killed by a little boy. Let's run away. We're now ruined because Goliath is dead. Let's run. Ah! The Israelites cheered for their victory. The Philistines ran away, but they were caught. The Israelites won the war thanks to David's courage and God's help. Did you guys enjoy today's Bible story? Today's story about David and Goliath is very well known. David was a young boy, but his love for God was very big. David trusted in God and had nothing to fear. David trusted that God would protect him in any situation. That's why he was able to confront Goliath without fear. God protected David because of David's strong faith. That's how David was able to use a surprising method to defeat Goliath during the war. When we trust in God and put our faith in Him, God always gives us strength to succeed. Therefore, we don't have anything to fear. Do you guys agree? Amen! I hope you guys can use the strength and courage that God gives you to win against your battles just like David. See you next week. Shalom. Lord, today's message taught us to put our faith in you. Give us the strength to succeed in everything we do. We are excited to live out the message you taught us this upcoming week. Keep us safe in everything we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's end our service by singing the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. It's about you.
Job. Now we are going to start our activity. Who can do it? Me, 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 me. I can do it. Then, shall we look at our materials? You can easily find all the materials in your homes. You will need three pieces of A4 paper, a pen, tape. Scissors, a ruler, a rubber band, and six paper cups. Then, let's get started. First, place the three pieces of A4 paper on top of each other. Use the ruler to measure 2 cm from the edge of the paper. Fold the paper at the 2 cm mark. Second, roll up the paper. Third, leave enough paper to fold two more times. Using the ruler, measure two centimeters from the edges and mark it. Use scissors to cut your lines. 
keyboard, place the rubber band in the edges of the paper, then you just cut. Use your fingers to hold the paper from folding. Fifth, the paper cannot cover the rubber band. Cut the remaining edges of the paper. Sixth, tape the edge of the paper. Fold it into a Y shape. Seventh, tape the ender together. Use the pen to write courage on the handle. Lastly, use the piece of paper we cut up to make a stone. Wow, we're done! Place the paper cups into a pyramid. Let's see who can hit over the most cups. Look, today's final product. Did you guys have fun? You can use this to play fun games with your family. But be careful. It hurts if you hit someone with this. Don't even have people. See you next week. Bye!